Okay, so I'm going to show you how to um, get MySQL running with NetBeans. To start off, I in downloaded the installer from the MySQL website, and I'm now going to run it. As you can see, before running it, um, I do not have MySQL installed. Um, you can see that uh, MySQL database is not an option here, um, only the current Java DB. All right, so this is probably going to take a little bit of time as I install it. Okay, so um, I don't want to uh, choose any of those. Um, you could, if you were adventurous, take a look at resources and actually figure out how to do this yourself. But for now, I'm just going to click on Install MySQL Products. I accept the license terms. Next, find the latest products. I am going to skip updating. Um, setup type, I am going to go with Developer Default. I'm going to take note of the installation directory. It is going to uh, program files MySQL. Um, the data path is MySQL Server 5.6. Click Next. Um, check the requirements. Execute. It's now going to download uh, the MySQL Visual, Stool, Visual Tools, Visual Studio Tools. Um, it's going relatively quickly, thankfully. Okay, so it should install that quickly. Um, it should be just a case of next, accept, install, um, and then just wait patiently while it happens. Again, this goes relatively quickly. And we should now be ready to proceed with the main installation. And basically, I'm just going to install everything. And this will probably take a couple of uh, seconds. Um, Sorry, a couple of minutes. I'm probably going to, if I can, unless I get lazy, I'll probably cut this out. Otherwise, you're just going to have to sit and stare at the screen for a little bit. Okay, and assuming I did edit that bit out, you missed a very enthralling process of watching green bars uh, progress through the screen. We're now going to pr uh, go to the configuration. All right, and um, over here we want to choose what type of machine we have. So development machine is the option you want to choose because we're going to be developing programs rather than hosting um, dedicated servers or anything like that. Enable TCP IP networking. This is going to allow us to um, connect um, through the uh, well through NetBeans. Um, take note of the port number should be 3306. And I think we can skip the advanced options. Right. You now need to choose a password and username. You can choose any password and username that you would like. Um, if you want to be the same as uh, the ones at school though, you're going to choose NVUser as your password and NVUser again. You can see the username for this is is root. Okay, um, you could also add another user if you wanted. It's a weak password but um, we actually don't care about people getting into this uh, sort of hacking into the SQL configuration. But if you were doing your own MySQL installation, you'd want a far more secure password. Okay, um, start the MySQL server at system startup. Um, if you do choose this, you always can have MySQL running in the background. Um, so your other options are to start it yourself manually or perhaps after you've finished with the whole MySQL section, uninstall it. It's up to you. I'm just going to leave it starting at uh, system startup for the time being. Okay, and it's going to apply those configuration changes for me. Um, and now just the samples and examples, which again, if you need to look up how to do various things, um, the samples and examples will be very useful. Um, I can click Next, and I can click Complete Finish. It'll start my SQL Workbench. All right, I am going to try and do this entirely through NetBeans, um, but I'm just going to test that this is working. So let's See if I can log on there. And that looks good. Great. So I know my username and password is working fine. I'm now going to close Workbench. All right. I now need to somehow um, find some way to get this to uh, recognize my SQL. So I'm going to right click on databases. And I haven't done this before. So I'm doing this. So bear with me. I'm going to go with register my SQL server. That seems quite reasonable. Server host name, localhost, 3306 uh, root, and then nb user. 
and I'm going to click OK. All right, I now have my SQL Server. Right click here, click Start, um, and the path to the My SQL Start command is not yet set. All right, and now I am going to try and figure out where this is. So it was installed to C program files, um, MySQL, MySQL Server 5.6, and it's going to be in the binary for server. And I think it is going to be MySQL D. Let's try that. And let's choose NB user as the password and choose remember password. Click OK. And there we go. That seemed to work. All right. So now what I can do is I can create a database. So let's call this database. Um, I think you're doing something called CD collection. OK. And it's created a database. I can see it happening over there. And this it pops up with an error message. All right. And I can now do things. I'm going to connect to it. There is my connection. And I can now, if I want to, I can create a new table. So I'm going to create a table. I'm going to call it CDs. OK. And I can add a column. Let's call this um, name. It's going to be of the type varchar. Let's make it 50. Um, no default value. It's not going to be the primary key. And we'll just click OK. Let's add another column. Let's call this ID. So we do have a primary key. Um, this, there should be, um, right, we'll go with int. OK, um, we'll make this primary key, which means obviously unique gets uh, ticked and you can't tick null. Okay, and let's just move this up. Okay, and then we could add other columns and all the rest of it, but you should know by now how to do this. And let's click OK. So I should now be able to um, look at my table. If I view the data, there's nothing there, obviously. Um, and I can now do um, everything else there that you've been able to do previously. All right, so hopefully you can now get MySQL working. Um, actually, you know what, let's just try one command. So let's try a simple insert statement. So insert into CDs values and ID is going to be, let's call it one, and the name is going to be my first CD. Put a semicolon to end and I think the, oh, that one there is the run SQL and you can see one row is affected, no errors. So if I now view data, there it is. All right, so good luck with the rest of everything.